Okay, ready? I guess. I'm fix my hair. Um, Are you recording? Mm-hmm. My name is Jennifer Collins. Joseph Collins. Catherine Collins. Lacey Ann Canto. I am, it's hard to say this number because it doesn't feel true, 49. 50 years old. 19. 20 years old. And I am your mother. And I am Claire Collins' father. She's a lucky kid. I am Claire's older sister. And I'm Claire's best friend. I think the first person to get in the house to catch the cootie is Probably Murphy will catch the coronavirus first. I don't think he's ever washed his hands. I think me or dad would catch it first just because of our habits. I mean, dad's not great about going to the doctors. He is now, but and I don't have great habits of like self-care, like brushing your teeth. Catherine or Lacey? If I'm honest, I think I might already have it. <laughs> Catherine will be the first one to get corona. They are more likely to be somewhere where they could encounter it, I think. Yeah. I don't think the public is overreacting about the coronavirus. I think this is something to be very guarded against for a period of time. And when things are ready to loosen up a little bit, folks will probably be slow to get back into being social. But for a little bit, it's not a bad idea to slow us down. I don't think the public is overreacting about the virus. I think we as a country reacted a little too slow. I'm hoping we didn't react so slow that we haven't been able to make a measurable impact on, on slowing it down. I'm surprised at how many people are not reacting. Yes, 100%. Uh, I don't think the government handled it well because um, they, they didn't do quarantining right away when they found out that this was happening. Um, I don't think they're overreacting. I think people are really afraid. So they're doing kind of weird things like the hoarding toilet paper, weird things like that. It's not overreacting, but maybe it's not. You know, we don't have our priorities set yet, what we need to do first. Uh, I, I have a hard time. I, I have a hard time with social distancing. My, my inclination is to hug somebody when they come in the house or if I see them and say hi. So social distancing is not something I do. Uh, as a uh, self-proclaimed introvert, I have no problem with social distancing. <laughs> I, it's like a normal day in the life for me. So uh, I, think, I think we're all gonna be fine. It's gonna be a harder adjustment for others than for me. I think social distancing is, of course, like the only answer to this, like and quarantining. Now I can't even like go to work to get that social aspect that I would be getting. And of course you can talk to people online, but it's still not the same face-to-face -face interaction. Social distancing, I've been doing it for years. I'm glad everyone's with me now. Um, I think it's a great thing. It's a good time to get your stuff together. I spend time at home working and working on a computer and talking to folks on a computer and uh, otherwise uh, Maybe having a whiskey or a bourbon once in a while. <laughs> and hanging out with my, my kids and my wife. And listening to the cats fight. <laughs> I pass my time at home during our social distancing experiment by rearranging the furniture. You never, I'm, I might make this my bedroom. Just give me a minute. We'll see what happens. <laughs> if I get really bored, you all wake up in a different room than you went to sleep in. I want to start doing art more because of this. I mean, it's not really affecting too much of my time anyways, just because I'm still working from home. I've been reading my Bible a lot. Uh, spending this much time at home hasn't, hasn't uh, been too uncomfortable yet, but it's only been a couple of days. I think that in a few weeks time, it will probably make me edgy, but for now, I'm enjoying it. I love being at home being around the other family members. I find them immensely entertaining. I don't think the reciprocal is true though. <laughs> my mom annoys me the most during this time of disaster. I haven't gotten sick of it because I'm not with my family. So uh, fun things are happening and uh, I talk to the cats a lot, so that's good. I would say for as uncomfortable and as stressful as it can be, we will come through this. It will be something that
will pass. It won't pass as quickly as people will want, but they also can hopefully not take it as heavily and burdensome as they are. Just find a way through it for a few weeks and it's a small amount of time for the rest of whatever we get at the end of it. We're gonna get through this. We're gonna support each other. It's gonna be lumpy and bumpy and we're all gonna have our turn and we all need to make sure that we're there for each other when it's our turn to feel cruddy. Someone else will be able to have us out. It's gonna be fine. Just enjoy it. <laughs> no, never mind. Make some brownies. You make brownies during this time. Um, I'm not sure if dispensaries are open, but that's pretty cool. Thanks a lot, Rachel. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Idiot. Idiot. I wouldn't say that. I think we would kick. You're gonna do a lot of editing on this fun fact. <laughs> um, Should I be looking at the camera? That's it. The end. Mm -hmm. And I forgot to answer that question explaining the question. I'm sorry. Um, what are your thoughts on social distancing? I want to start... You can just start over. <laughs> that was so scary. <laughs> I didn't expect you to ask me that. <laughs> Actually... <laughs> ah, okay. Um... <laughs> Mom, if you're watching this, we love you. <laughs> Talk amongst yourselves. We'll be right with you. Would you like to explain what that means to everybody that doesn't know? Do you not know what that means? No, just if there's like a two-year, I don't know, like a <laughs> two-year-old watching this video. Um, we will now return to our normally scheduled project. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> cool. Thank you guys so much for watching, like, comment, and subscribe, and share this video with all your friends because it was really good. Because it was really good. <laughs>